Okay, here's the thing. I don't know how to pronounce the title of this game. If it's a reference to the character from the Trojan War, then it's Palamedes. If it's a reference to the Arthurian king who chased after the questing beast, then it's Palamedes. The only real clue I have is that the sequel has a Greek mythology theme, so I think it's Palamedes. But that might just be something they added for the sequel. Palamedes the video game started out as an arcade game by Taito. Part of that whole push towards single-screen action games that they had at the time that brought us games like Don Dokudon and Flip Pole. From what I've been able to discern, Taito developed and published the arcade game, so I'm not sure how it wound up in Natsume and Hot Bee's hands. Palamez is a puzzle game, but it's not like Tetris. You have lines emerging at the top of the screen and then coming down, instead of having lines built up from the bottom. The lines are made up of six-sided dice, and you lose if they reach the bottom. You hold one die at the bottom of the screen, and hitting the B button cycles through what face is showing. Pressing the A button launches it upward, and if it strikes a matching die, then that die is pulled off the descending stack and added to your bar. You can press down at any time, and if you've formed a poker hand, then a certain number of lines will vanish. Basically, have a set of three or more, or have a run of three or more. These have to be consecutive. You can't collect two fours, and then a five, and then two more fours. Getting three of a kind eliminates one row, and every additional one of that die that you have eliminates one more row. So getting six of a kind eliminates four rows. A useful thing to keep in mind here is that if you get two three of a kinds, then it eliminates two rows. Collecting three consecutive numbers will eliminate one row, but collecting six consecutive numbers eliminates five. You get one bonus die there. If you have three pairs, it's a special case that eliminates three lines. And if you can get the dice to total 21, then you'll eliminate one line. You don't have to wait for your buffer to be full at the bottom before you use it. But given the way that things get eliminated, you probably will want to fill it up. Something to keep in mind about eliminating lines is that it will eliminate the bottommost line regardless of how many dice are left in it. Even if there's only one die left, it still counts as one line for removal. There's two different modes of play for Palamedes. The standard puzzle game has you select one of five difficulty levels, and every stage has a fixed number of lines that will come down. After you clear that many lines, then it restarts at a higher speed. The competitive mode, which can be played two-player or as a tournament against computer opponents, pushes your opponent's side down an equal number of lines as you eliminate. There is no end to these battles until one player has their dice reach the bottom. In Japan, this is another one of those games that has vanished without a trace. Nobody remembers Palamedes, even if it must have been successful at the time since it got a sequel. As for myself, I've gone back and forth on Palamedes over the years, and I think I have to come down on the side that I don't like it. Part of that is due to having to rotate through the die faces. The time it takes to cycle has to become part of your strategy. Part of my problem is that I'd like to be able to just build a line out of anything I like and then get the result. I feel like order shouldn't matter here. And part of it is that I feel like the design is being pulled in multiple directions. There's no connection between eliminating lines and building sets. The puzzle games that are built on piece elimination generally have you working on a pile that you're building. But here it's almost like a heavily restricted shoot 'em up I just don't find the gameplay very effective here. Following the success of Tetris, there were a lot of people who tried to make this kind of well-based puzzle game, and a lot of them didn't have great mechanics. This isn't even the only game with this problem released on July 6th, 1990.